Hi, I'm Jared Bentley, and this is the Johnson City Press Week in Review. After hearing four days of testimony and deliberating for four hours on Thursday evening, a Carter County jury found Timothy Jason Pate guilty in the death of 78-year-old Lonnie Townsend. Townsend, a man that Pate said would have done anything for his family, was killed by blows from a hammer to his head while he was visiting the home of Pate and Whitney Harris in April of 2012. The jury found Pate guilty of first-degree murder, felony murder, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse. The last two charges were from the act of rolling Townsend's body into carpet and dumping it on a little-used gravel road on Spivey Mountain in Unicoi County. Pate will be sentenced at a later date. Pate's co-defendant, Whitney Harris, is also charged with first-degree murder, felony murder, and tampering with evidence and testified for the prosecution in Pate's trial. Dominating the national news again this week, Donald Trump continues to dominate the airwaves and dominate the election cycle by spewing rhetoric and insults towards GOP candidates and others that are leaving them a little frustrated. Frustrated Republicans worry that Trump's plan to ban Muslims from entering the United States, among other pronouncements, will continue to dominate the conversation and leave the rest of the GOP field struggling to be heard. Jeb Bush, John Kasich, and Ben Carson have wondered aloud about their ability to be heard as the election season rumbles along. If you have an opinion on the matter and you want to be heard, visit johnsoncitypress.com, log in, and leave us a comment. This year's Grammy nominations are in, and we'd like to take a moment to say congratulations to a few area residents who snagged a nod from the Academy. Trey Hensley and Rob Ike scored a nomination for their latest effort, Before the Sun Goes Down, which is a wonderful new bluegrass album, also featuring a few songs from another local musician, Bobby Starnes. ETSU professor Ted Olson received a nomination for his 125-page biography of Tennessee Ernie Ford that accompanied his discography collection, Portrait of an American Singer. Another ETSU professor, Alan Stevens, sings tenor with True Concord Voices in Orchestra. They gained a nomination for Best Choral Performance for their album Far in the Heavens, Choral Music of Stephen Paulus, as well as a nomination for Best Contemporary Classical Composition for Stephen Paulus's work, Prayers and Remembrances. A nominee for Best Contemporary Instrumental Album for Silva, Snarky Puppy, and Metropole Orchestra. It includes the work of ETSU graduate and snarky puppy member Justin Stanton, a jazz pianist and trumpeter who graduated from ETSU and is an Elizabethan native. On a personal note, I just want to say if you haven't heard anything from Trey and Rob or, or from Snarky Puppy, you need to run immediately to a record store and take care of that. Wonderful, wonderful music from people in our area. Congratulations to all the nominees. And we hope you do very well when the Grammys roll around. Thanks for watching. I'm Jared Bentley. We'll be back next week for more from the Johnson City Press.